government has got a new campaign helping more micro businesses do more online. And as part of that process, we're inviting a number of experts to come in and tell us how they do that. So please tell us who you are and the company you represent. Thanks very much for having me. My name is Caroline Halpin. I'm a product marketing manager for Google and I specifically work on Google Partners. That's our platform to help agencies succeed in the UK and Ireland so that they can ultimately help small and micro businesses succeed online. So hopefully I'll be able to give you lots of great tips and advice today. A really important subject matter for some of our micro businesses is how they increase their online visibility. So talk to us about how Google helps micro businesses to do that. Sure, well there's a lot that you can do. Um, our tips are to certainly start with the basics. So start with your free online tools before you get too overwhelmed or find it too confusing. So look at things like one of our tools, for example, Google My Business. So Google My Business, for example, talk, talk to us about what exactly that is. Google My Business is a great starting point if, for example, you don't have a website. Mm -hmm. So what you can do with Google My Business is really be found online and have a first uh, presence online. Mm -hmm. Um, it will give you a listing on Google Maps, it will allow you to be found on Google Plus and it will also allow you to appear within search. When you go to a map and you see a business indicated, this is what Google My Business is? Exactly. See, I assume that Google went around with their nice little cars and then filmed all the businesses and then uploaded them back. Are you saying this is something that small micro businesses have to do themselves? This is something that businesses can do themselves. Yeah, and exactly. How, how so, easy is it to be done? Um, you can do it straight away. So it's as simple as going online, mm -hmm. um, searching for Google My Business yep. and entering your details. Um, you do need to have things like a company name and an address and then from there we'll guide you through the process. So you said it's so easy to do. Yeah. Do you want to show me? Yeah, absolutely. So all you need to do is go to google.com and search for Google My Business yep. and you'll find the page very easy to navigate. So clear overview and the benefits. Um, for example, you can get listed on Google Plus, yep. um, you'll be seen on maps and you'll also appear in the search rankings. Okay. So from there, it's as simple as just clicking on get onto Google. Mm -hmm. And once we're in, you need to then choose your business type. So for example, are you a shop? Yeah. Are you a service area such as a plumber or a business delivery? Or are you a brand? So and then we can specific, go yep. deeper into there. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes more and more relevant to get you um, into the type of thing. So uh, next details are what you want to call your page, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. And then you just simply agree to the terms and conditions. And it's and as simple as that. Brilliant. Yes. So within a couple of minutes, you can be on registered on. You can. Absolutely. So there's nothing stopping anyone doing it? There's nothing stopping you. It's definitely a very easy first step. Yep. Um, and from there, I think that will give you a good flavour of the type of traffic that you could get, mm -hmm. type of phone calls you might be getting to your business, and then you can consider whether you want to dip your toe in a little bit deeper. A lot of the micro businesses we talk to will have these technical terms like search engine optimization in their minds when they think about online visibility. What does Google do to support companies and how can they do it better? Um, at a basic level, it's all about your website. So look at your website itself, look at the content that you have on your website, look at how you navigate through the website, and think about what a search engine is about. Search engine is about helping customers and people find the information that they need. Mm -hmm. Your website should have the same type of mantra as well. So make sure all the information is there, describe your business, your contact details, your location, what it's about, your products, uh, make sure you can navigate, Think about if there's um, any other things that you can add to your site to make it easy, as easy as possible to use. Um, from that, there are some Google tools that are available to you. So two in particular that I'd recommend that are free. Yep. Uh, one is Google Analytics. So Google Analytics helps you to track the traffic on your website so that you can understand um, how many people are coming to your website, what pages they're staying on, what pages they're leaving. And once you've got all that information, it's very easy for you to, to decide how to optimize or move on from there. Another tool available to you is what we call Webmaster Tools. That's a, a great opportunity for you to understand more about how Google views your website and then get further tips about how to optimize your, your website overall. So key, get a website. Yeah. Start small and simple, and then build up once you know exactly what you want to do in terms of direction. Absolutely. Sounds like three nice, easy tips. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.